consecutive. You get additional 10% as a rebate. Aside from the two marketing plans I've just already mentioned. Again, when your group grows even bigger and they reach us 100 points, we call you gold executive. You get 20%. And the highest level in our stair step marketing plan happens to be called global ambassador, which means global ambassador needs to accumulate 1,000 points and he gets or she gets 30%. How do we do this, number one? That is no time frame. The accumulation of the points I've just told you has no time frame. You can join now, and you want to become Silver Executive by 2010 or 2011, it's okay. If you want to become Silver Executive by 2020, it's okay. No time frame. What else? No reversion. As soon as you get the position, we do not demote you, even if you do not maintain the sales. You know, most network marketing companies, they have a quota. You have to maintain a certain level of sales. That's why if you do not maintain that level, level of sales anymore, they demote you. Not in our company, not in any global. And no pass up. What does it mean by no pass up? If you got someone, if you recruited someone, if you sponsored someone who happens to be more excited than you, who happens to work harder than you, who happens to know people, more people than you, who happens to have more time doing this business, guess what? Let me illustrate this scenario. Okay? Let's say, George, I like the business, but I have no friends. George, I like the business, but I'm too shy to sponsor people. George, I like the business, but I have no time. Look at this rule, the no-pass-up rule. Because even if you, okay, just recruited two of your friends, A and B, and B died, <laughs> unfortunately. And A, is unlike you, you have no time, but A has a lot of time. You're too shy, but A, you know, is very friendly. Everybody he encounters with, everybody uh, he comes contact with, she recruits. So this person recruited and recruited and recruited. Okay? She happened to work harder than you. She happens to have more time than you. Guess what? If A is able to accumulate 1,000 points, Okay? A becomes a global ambassador. Guess what happens to you? If A becomes a global ambassador, you automatically become becomes global ambassador also. Okay? So it's just like looking for agents. You know, uh, sometimes you know uh, you can look for you can find people who are really excited about this, who will work harder than you, who will put in more effort and more time than you. And there are such people that, you know, they have a leadership of their own. And if your recruit becomes successful, he or she becomes global ambassador, you also become a global ambassador. Why is that so? Because the company knows, in global knows, that had it not for you, A will never encounter in global. Had it not for you, A will never know, will never learn anything about the opportunity of A global. So it is because of you that A actually becomes successful. So it's also right that whatever benefit she or he gets, you also get. Is it fair? Yes. Is it fair? Yes. Very fair. That includes our incentive like A okay? or royalty income. What does, this, what does this mean? If you become a global ambassador, your recruit becomes a global ambassador, you still get 2% from all incentives up to the fifth level. All global ambassadors up to the fifth level, you get 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. Our breakaway happens only on the sixth level. Okay? What else? Profit sharing. That includes our profit sharing. Our fourth profit sharing will happen this November in the Philippines. That program can also happen here in Singapore very, very soon. Okay? What does profit sharing mean? Well, we share the profit. That's it. Okay? We also give travel incentives to our performing distributors who so are able to get the requirement. There is such a requirement in getting this trip. It's an all expense paid trip going to the States. We pay our distributors all expense paid. Accommodation, you know, pocket money, their uh, airfare, including visa assistance. Because in the Philippines, 
it's actually hard to secure a U.S. visa for an ordinary Filipino. But you know, sometimes in this kind of opportunity where our partner, like uh, like Nature's Way, uh, they uh, furnish us with the uh, certification or whatever documents and uh, paperwork, they help us to secure visa for our distributors. And fortunately, uh, last May, 25 of our top earners went to the States for an all-expense-paid trip, visited about four states in the United States of America, including pocket money. And we are very proud to tell you that all those 25 distributors were able to get a 10-year multiple entry visa. Okay, care of nature's way and alliance with our community. So you know, back home, we're really creating a lot of noise, we're really creating a lot of exposure because for the last four years, in Google, we're able to create, was able to create about 300 millionaires over the last four years. Those people who joined us, stayed with us for the last four years, ladies and gentlemen, 300 of them became self-made millionaires. Not only that, after about four years, we are proudly, we are very proud to say that we were able to help at least 500 of our distributors buy their own cars. You know, if he, here in Singapore, having a car is a, 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 a really big deal. Back home, it's a really, really big deal also because not all Filipinos have the capacity and the money to buy their own cars. But in Inglobal, an ordinary Filipino joining us, given an opportunity to really excel, in a matter of about months or one year, they are now driving their own cars. And practically people from all walks of life. A student joined us, got serious with his business, ladies and gentlemen, at 19 years old. He is driving his own car right now. I, I, I met another one who was involved in the southern part of the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen. She was just a plain housewife. Joined our business. She is now driving his own, her own Hyundai Tucson. An ordinary guy back home where we call a uh, tricycle driver. Tricycle? Uh, tricycle. I don't know if there's a tricycle here in uh, Singapore, but you know, back home, just an ordinary tricycle driver. He even, he did not even finish college because they're so poor. Joined in global, he's now driving his brand new car. He became a self-made millionaire. So that's why we're very happy to show this to a lot of people because we know that this is really an opportunity that could really change people's lives. And I know each and every one of you has, you know, some friends, relatives, you know, some people who are actually looking for a better job, better opportunity. And all you have to do is just share this opportunity with them. Because I can say, we are not trying to do people here. We're not trying to fool people here. We're not trying to cheat people here because, you know, our products are good. Our marketing plan is so lucrative. And believe me, we were able to create a lot of millionaires in this business. Aside from that, we also give, hey, look at the one-year scenario here. What if you just, you know, join right now in July? For every pair, again, we made $45 for every direct referral bonus, you make 15 and 15. So 15, 15, and 45. That gives you 75. Next month, you just train these two people to recruit two more people. So you get new four people under you. That translates to about $90. This is just the match sales bonus. Not including the uni level, not including the overriding donation. This is just the pairing bonus. By September, you get about 180. But you know, the power of networking is the power of compounding. As time goes by, your effort, your network compounds. So by October, that's about 360. And if we continue doing this, ladies and gentlemen, okay, by June of next year, no, by April of next year, you are getting our maximum payout already. Remember our maximum payout, how much? 17,000. Ladies and gentlemen, in 12 months, if you happen to do this, just start with two people, you'll have an accumulated income of 74865 in one year. Good enough? Good. That includes 8,000 plus people you, who you were able to touch and help because of this business. Actually, in network marketing, you never make money unless your people make money first. We call those people downlines, okay? This is just for one year. Now, let me ask you again. This is 100% efficiency. Let's just say you hit this 50%. 50% 50 of 74,000. Good enough? Good. Good enough? Good. Very good. Okay? So, again, some people 
it's not enough for them to just, you know, get the 17,280. Remember, in one account, the maximum payout per month is 17,000. That's why some people, they do not buy one kit. They do not buy one global package. For them to multiply, triple their income, their income, you know what they do? They buy three kits. You get the point? One kit, one global package, translate to about 17,000 per month. But you can just imagine, three global packages translates to three times 17,000. So there are people like that who goes to, who, who, who buys what we call a uh, multiple accounts. Okay? Our expansion program, ladies and gentlemen, we are a Filipino company, but our partner is Nature's Way. We are the exclusive distributor of their products in the whole Southeast Asia, including Middle East, uh, Europe, and USA. We are now very big in Brunei and Singapore. Later, we have some, uh, you know, we are in negotiations with some people in Malaysia. So sooner or later, we'll be opening up also in Malaysia. But uh, we are very excited to be opening up in Korea soon, even in Indonesia, Middle East, Europe, and early part of next year, we'll be opening up in the USA. Why is that so? Because Nature's Way being a manufacturer, they manufacture the product for us, but they themselves, they cannot sell it in the States because they've given us the exclusivity that a global alone can distribute this product and nobody else, including them as the manufacturer. So you can just imagine our partner in Nature's Way. They respect our exclusive distributorship agreement with them, which means even as a manufacturer of their product, they cannot sell their products. They need us as a marketing arm in the States to sell their products. And ladies and gentlemen, you can just imagine what can happen. And you know, talking about, you know, you Singaporeans here, we have a very, very big market in your countries of origin, especially in India. India having about 1.2 billion people. That's a what? One third? No. Six billion people all over the world. One billion in, 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 in uh, India. That's one sixth of the whole population in the whole world. You could just imagine if one of your community back there will just use one company. You get rich. <laughs> Great. You see the idea? Great idea. You can just imagine what your community there just spray the glutathione. <laughs> oh. And some of them got, uh, you know, whiten their skin. Oh, that's a big, big business. <laughs> right? Right, right, guys? So that's the possibility. A lot of things can happen here. And back home in the Philippines, I was, uh, you know, when I was new in this business, I was trying to learn more about this business and I interviewed most of our uh, users. Well, by users, I mean these people who, you know, use the products because in one way or the other, they have some ailments. And the most disease or illness I was able to encounter with, ladies and gentlemen, happened to be type 2 diabetes. The most patients we were able to help are those people with type 2 diabetes. I have this one guy, you know, I personally interviewed him and because he, he had his sharing to a lot of people in our one more events where we gather our distributors and you know, uh, all our uh, su some success stories about patients using the products. You know, there's one guy, Filipino, uh, from the northern part of the Philippines. His name is uh, Dodo, Dodo, who happens to have a gangrenous diabetes. Uh, his diabetes uh, was supposed to be, uh, his legs no? were supposed to be amputated because of uh, gangrene. Unfortunately, being poor, they cannot uh, have his legs amputated. Uh, a guy, who is a distributor from him global, just, you know, out of PT, gave him one box, blister of uh, complete and Dodo, you know, who has taken a lot of medicines and, you know, nothing happened to him. He told himself, well, anyway, I will well die. I will die, die anyway. Might as well take any products. So he took it. After a while, he saw his wounds getting healed and continued using it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to tell you right now that Dodo is still walking with his two legs. But, you know, when his doctor saw him, the doctor was really amazed. You know what the doctor said to him? Oh, you're still alive? <laughs> because the doctor projected that he would die in six months' time. But then taking medicine, I made him uh, complete. He got better, he got better. His legs are still there. And you know, the doctor interviewed him and he said, You know, doc, if I tell you what I do, you go out of the business. <laughs> and then the doctor said, No, come, come on, tell me, tell me what you did. And then, you know, Dodo called in about his products, etc. 
and the doctor got interested. You know why? Because his whole family is suffering from type 2 diabetes. You see, now, I can say that our distributor is now driving his own motorcycle because of this business. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to share with you what the wonderful product's all about, what our company is all about. I hope that you will catch the vision, just try the business. You know, me, as an ordinary person, has, was given a chance because of that. And I know that a lot of you here, uh, it can happen to a lot of you here also. So you can be an instrument of help a lot of people. So just join and uh, learn more about us. We cannot, you know, just absorb and learn everything in one sitting. I hope you will give yourselves a chance to just learn about it. And you know, it's just natural to have a cloud of doubts in your mind, but the only person that can actually take away those doubts is if you will only learn. And a lot of people in network marketing whenever they attend the seminar, you know, they have this prejudgment already. They have this prejudice already. But if you come and learn about the insights, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually a very, very exciting business. And I can attest to that because I've been here for the last 14 years. I can probably say that I was able to help a lot of people, especially those friends of mine who were able to join me. Unfortunately, there are a lot also who never joined me. You know, when I joined this business, I was glad, I was so excited that I told my sponsor, June, teach me how to do this and I will do everything to become successful. Tell me how to make money in network marketing. And I cannot, remember, I cannot forget the two things he told me to just do on how I become, how will I become very rich in this business. You know the two things I can still remember now. You know what he told me, George? Just do this. Just do these two things. Number one, learn about the business. Number two, sponsor people. I cannot believe. It. You know why? That's it. When I will become rich. I told him again, June. Tell me. I'm not really playing around here. Tell me what to do for me to become successful. He answered me the same. Just do, just do two things. <coughs> Learn the business and sponsor people. You know when I went home that night, I cannot sleep. Because for me, wow, it's very easy to get rich. Just bring people and learn about the business. Bring people and learn about the business. Then I did that. I keep on learning. But you know, I found out the hardest thing to do, you know what? bringing people. <laughs> it's hard to bring people. Because if you invite them, they will have free songs, they will have value buys and everything. You know, when I was working in my office before, whenever I go, before I even go to my office to my cubicle, uh, me with my co-engineers are actually hanging out in the lobby area. Before, I used to be involved in network marketing. We used to hang out in that area. But as soon as I get involved in networking and I invited them, you know, Whenever I go to the office and I see them hanging around, as soon as I go near them, these friends of mine, my engine, my co-engineers, you know what they do? They all go back to their cubicles. <laughs> it's like I have a disease that they want to, you know, uh, see, the, you know, there's a lot of challenges. I was able to invite a hundred people. You know how many people believe me? Out of a hundred? Three. Three. My cousin. <laughs> One of my friends and my girlfriend who happened to be my wife. Three. I told my girlfriend, come with me or else I will change her friend. <laughs> she told me, I beg you, I'll come. Uh, so she, came, she came with me and we did the business. Three people, ladies and gentlemen, in about 11 months time, I was able to buy my own car. When I bought my first car, I did not even know how to drive. <laughs> but my friend, my sponsor, told me, George, it's a good problem. At least you know how. You, at least you have a car, and you don't know how to drive. I know a lot of people out there. They know how to drive, but they have no cars. <laughs> you see, in a month of about in like one and a half years, I earned my first million. At the time, I became the youngest member of our millionaires club. At the age of 23, 24, all in all, in about 14 years, I was able to accumulate six cars back home. Two house and dads, one condominium. And I would say that right now I am financially free. And why I'm saying this not to be proud about it, not to be to brag about it. I'm saying this because that is what can happen if you join network marketing. If I can make it, if I did it, I also believe in my heart. Anybody practically can make it also by right. I'd just like to share with you this wonderful story, but before I 
even begin the story. After this, you can ask me any question, and then we can, uh, you know, still hang around because uh, our, uh, I think we were able to rent this up to about 1 o'clock a.m. <laughs> so, you know, there is one guy, uh, a, a patient, you know, uh, a guy who, you know, for some reason, for, for some time, is uh, having a nightmare and cannot uh, sleep at night. So he decided to see a doc or a psychiatrist, and uh, he told the psychiatrist that, you know, doc, I have this problem. For two weeks now, I cannot really sleep. Whenever I sleep, you know, uh, I am having this uh, recurring nightmare, recurring dream. So the doctor asked him, the psychiatrist asked him, then what, what's about all your dream? What's your dream all about? Well, doc, in my dream, you know, I was walking into this aisle. At, at the end of this aisle, there's a big, big door. And at the end of this aisle, when I saw this door, I kept pushing this door. And you know, I kept pushing it, but you know, not even an inch, the door is moving. And I feel really, really tired. I, I feel very hopeless. I'm short of breath. I'm sweaty. And in the middle of the night, I just wake up feeling very, very tired. Hopeless, sweating, and catching my breath. And I cannot go back to sleep anymore, though, whenever I wake up in the night. Because whenever I go back to sleep, I dream the same thing again. Doc, can you help me? So the doctor said, okay, why did you, your problem is easy. Why do you need to push the door anyway? Don't just push it. Go back and, you know, don't go to the time. And then the patient said, no, don't. I have to open that door. I have to, I, I have to open that door. The doctor said, why? Because that door is the door to my dreams. Behind that door are my dreams. I have to open it. So the doctor said, okay, let me think. Do you observe what, 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 kind of, what kind of door is it? And he told the doctor, no, I just push it. And every dream, I just push it. And never even notice what's in that door. So the doctor said, okay, when you, uh, what you did, uh, you do like this. When you go home, and when you sleep again, and when you see that door again in your before you even push that door, I want you to just observe the door before you do anything. And then go back and see me tomorrow what you notice about that door. So the patient said, come on, Doc, do you mean that I still have to do? I will have that dream again tonight, and you just give me a sleeping pill. And then the doctor said, no, we have to solve that issue, because that dream will just keep on recurring if you never you know, resolve that issue. So the, web, the patient went home, and the following day, the patient was very happy to see his doctor. And he told me, Doc, you're so great, you're so good, Doc. I was able to sleep. After two weeks, I had a good sleep last night. And then the doctor said, why? I just told you to just, you know, observe the door and before you even push the door, I just told you to just observe it. What happened? Said the doctor. And then the patient said, you know, again, doc, I had this dream last night. I was walking into this aisle again. At the end of the aisle, I saw this door. And when I saw the door, I kept pushing it again. But subconsciously, someone told me to just step up and just observe the door. And you know, I did what I did, doc. I just stepped back and I observed the door. And you know, Doc, I saw something. I know, I noticed something. And then the doctor said, what did you notice? I saw pool. So ladies and gentlemen, for me, to some people, we've been working so hard, you know, pushing and pushing because we want to make our dreams come true. For me, maybe for me, I kept pushing with my job before, unknowingly, I'm unknowing that, you know, I did not know that it was not, not the right vehicle for me. Maybe it's uh, the direction is, you know, simple, but what I mean is that, you know, maybe the direction is not your job to get your dreams. Maybe the direction is in global to get your dreams. tell you to resign from your job. Don't do that. It's already night time. File your resignation tomorrow. <laughs> no, what I mean is that, you know, at the end of the day, if you keep working for someone else, working some for someone else, it's okay. But as long as you are beholden to someone else, you'll never become financially free. It's like, you know, if you work for someone else, you make that person rich or get his goal, while you, you're like a farmer trying to plant in some other people's field. With this, ladies and gentlemen, we show you the opportunity 
And if you work hard in this business, I promise you that you're planting at your own, at your own feet. So that's why at the end of the day, if you do your own business, you can you become financially free. It's been my pleasure to be with you here tonight. My name is Jorgen Gonzalez, and I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I hope you have a great time. I hope to see you soon. More power to everybody, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I will be open to uh, questions uh, uh, to, some, to, to some people who have, uh, would like to clarify some things before we even, uh, before we even end. Uh, are there any clarifications or questions you would like to ask? Sir, please. Uh, I just want to ask about the pay ring, 16 pairs, one day, right? 16 pairs yeah. a day to be paid out. Yeah. The, six, the 17 and 18, if you're 17 pairs and 18, you, you have to you tell him to... Go back tomorrow. How about if you accept the, them, then you just put the date for tomorrow. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, what you should understand also, sir, is that, you know, when you ever you buy products, the global package or even the products, single products, what the company does is that they allow you, the distributor, the third is going to be the one who will encode this sale to the computer. So that it can happen that they sold the product, uh, they, they bought the products, they have the kit with them, and yet they will just encode the sale tomorrow. It can happen like that. It, it's, it can be, uh, you know, I mean, it, that's allowed. That's allowed. Okay, any more questions? Did you understand my presentation? In the first place? I think, you know, you know, after the seminar, the people do not ask questions. There are just two possibilities. One, they do not understand. And two, they understood very well. Either of the two, ladies and gentlemen, did you understand or no? <laughs> I hope you were able to understand, okay? So with that, thank you, and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you, thank you.